In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations for a given variable. So here's our first problem. We want to solve for a where a plus b equals 3. So that means our goal here is to isolate a. To do this, we're going to focus on a as the primary variable in this equation, and just think of b like any other number. Now when we're adding some other number, b, to our primary variable, which is a, what can we do to cancel it out and just get our primary variable alone? Well, let's just use the addition principle. If you're adding something, you can cancel it out by subtracting. So to get rid of this plus b, we just go ahead and subtract b from both sides. The result then is that this plus b and minus b cancel, and on the left-hand side, all we've got left is our a. Then on the right-hand side, we have our 3 as well as the minus b. And there we go. We've solved for a. That's all there is to it. a equals 3 minus b. Next up, we want to solve for x, where 3x plus y minus 1 equals 5y. So let's go ahead and circle x in our equation, because that's our primary variable. We want to isolate x, and to do that, we'll just think of the other variable, y, like any other number. All right, so first let's focus on isolating the 3x term. We'll get rid of the 3 later. But first of all, let's focus on getting the y minus 1 away from the left-hand side. Why don't we focus on the minus 1 part first? How can we cancel out a minus 1? Well, according to the addition principle, all we have to do is add 1 to both sides. So we do that, the minus 1 and plus 1 cancel, and then on the left-hand side, we've just got 3 times x, then plus y, and that's equal to 5y plus 1. All right, so now we need to get rid of the plus y on the left-hand side, and according to the addition principle, we can do that by just doing the opposite operation and subtracting y. So minus y from both sides, and the result is that this plus y and minus y, these cancel, we've just got 3x left on the left-hand side, and then on the right-hand side, we've got 5y minus y, which is 4y, and then plus 1. Now let's focus on getting this 3 off of the x. The 3 is multiplying the x, so we can use the multiplication principle, which says in order to cancel out a multiplication, we do a division. So divide both sides by 3. And the result there is that this 3 divided by 3 cancels, and we've just got an x, and we can leave the right-hand side as is, 4y plus 1 over 3. So there we go. We've solved for x. x is just 4y plus 1 over 3. Here's another problem. We want to solve for k in the equation 2 equals 5hk minus 3l. Wow, so there's a lot more variables here than we're used to, but that's okay because all we really care about is our primary variable, which is k. That's the variable that we're trying to solve for. So we'll just treat all the other variables just like numbers. Okay, so to isolate k, we need to do two things. We need to cancel out that minus 3l, and we also need to cancel out that 5h that's multiplying the k. We always do addition and subtraction first, so let's focus on that minus 3l part. According to the addition principle, all we have to do to cancel out a minus 3l is add 3l. Just do the opposite operation. So add 3l to both sides, and the result is, on the left-hand side, we've got 2 plus 3l. On the right-hand side, we've got 5h times k. And then the minus 3l and plus 3l cancel. Now we need to get rid of the 5h that's multiplying the k. And to do this, we can use the multiplication principle, which says that in order to cancel out a multiplication, you use a division. So let's divide both sides by what's multiplying the k by the 5h. And the result is that on the left-hand side, we've got 2 plus 3l over 5h, and on the right-hand side, this 5h cancels, and all we have left is k. Let's go ahead and flip around that equation so it's very clear what our solution is. Our solution is that k equals 2 plus 3l all over 5h. 
And there we go. We're done. We've solved for k. So now we know how to solve equations for a given variable, even equations which contain more than one variable. In the future, we'll learn some more tricks for solving linear equations, such as clearing a rational expression and cross-multiplication.